hey guys welcome back so this lecture is going to about uh, for the creation of array from our existing data okay so if we do have our data which is in existing so how we can create an array from that data okay so the first function that we can use for that purpose is uh, as array numpy dot as array or as simple np dot as array we have seen what np dot array creates okay so here is our np dot array but now we're going to see what np dot as array does so for example it, it basically it is useful for converting python sequences into ng array okay so we're now going to create let's uh, now create a list here okay so let's just take l equals as our list okay so let me add some elements to it uh, maybe more elements four up to four okay so l and now to create an n as a list for for example if you want to uh, so this is a basic this is basically a sequence a python sequence a list it's a sequence so we're going to convert this to the end array numpy array okay so as array okay and uh, here we're going to just pass the l okay and uh, let us uh, print that we got our array so if you want to see what actually happened or whether it's a uh, array or not let me just uh, add few more things here okay so let me add more print here okay for a new line and uh, another print to print out the list okay so then you will understand what going on so a comma separated values here is our list this is our list and this is our numpy array so we convert this list to an np array okay and the array in short so that's how it works so for example if you want to change its data type how you can do that so just pause the video and do it yourself Ah, so you're back so you have done nicely how to convert the data as we have seen in our previous lecture how to change the data type or change the objects data type and what do we use for that we use d type okay so i'm going to do that for those who could understand what i meant what i meant by the question so let me use the same list here and let me create another new list so you can understand that well so np dot uh, as array okay and here what i'm going to do is pass in the list and here i'm going to define my d type equals um, float okay and let's just print this here so print y so we got dots here it's just uh, to avoid the zeros that like, that actually actually got some space that actually acquired some spaces to avoid those spaces we actually don't print the zeros but one point means it's a floating point right now it's a floating value okay so that's how we converted the simple integers to floating using the and numpy as array function and d type okay now if we have another another sequence object like tuple so how are we gonna do that so let's uh, let me create a tuple here so for example this tuple might consist of these four objects again uh, maybe add more one five and uh, let's now convert this tuple to an np array so I'm going to convert it to a equals np dot as array okay and just pass the tuple here that's as simple as the our but what we have done with the list okay so l uh, no no not l but a okay so that's one two three four five it's converted to an array okay and the array so how about how about uh, a list that consists of tuples okay so let's do that also a list that consists of tuples so i'm going to name it as lt and convert creating a list and then a tuple here and another tuple here that might consist of some different values okay uh, maybe one more so 
to convert that uh, we're just going to do something called let me just print this directly okay so np dot mm, as array okay and uh, afterwards just pass the list okay the the sequence object boom we got our new array okay so this is our array here now we can also do the same thing for strings since the strings are also sequences and we have seen in our previous lecture that strings other sequence they started from zero they can be sliced they can be indexed okay so that so they are also sequence and for that for for strings we have a function called from buffer okay and there is a difference i will tell you here uh, of difference from 2.x and 3.x so in, in 3.x so strings are actually let me create a string first okay so say hello numpy okay since we are doing numpy so hello numpy so in python 3.x strings are actually actually by default as a unicode they they actually worked as unicode and in numpy we could not support unicode directly so we have to convert this unicode string to something called byte array by introducing a b before the code okay before wherever the quotation starts wherever your quotation starts uh, maybe it's double quote or single quote it is always before okay so there is our quote it's before that that b is placed that before okay so that converts that string to a byte array okay or a byte string and in, in, in 2.x let me show you that also okay the difference along okay we're, we're going to see those differences side by side so i have to open my terminal and let me just zoom in okay so oh, that's fine i think and uh, let me just I, I will show you that but first learn uh, actually run this script okay so s and now uh, print np dot s array okay oh sorry not as array it's uh, i think from buffer okay actually why buffer i will tell you um in computer everything that you input from a keyboard or from a mouse it's actually is a string and uh, it converted to their respective forms but actually that stored in something called as buffer so string here is kind of plays as a role of buffer so that's why they named this function as from buffer okay so from buffer we are getting the string from all the input and we have to convert that string into byte array in python 3.x remember it's a third version of the python python 3 i'm talking about and i'm working on python 3.6 okay it's python 3 here okay so just uh, put your string and the string is s and uh, here what you also have to define d type okay so d type is s1 for the string and that's a print statement boom you got you converted that string the sequence string sequence into so what that call and here okay so this is now our end here and why b is because it's converted into byte string now let us come here with um, python 2 i will show you what uh got okay so python 2 is now open it's python 2.7 as you can see here okay so first import so import numpy let me mm, okay I will, I will show you that later so numpy as np okay so num, our my numpy is imported and uh, let us do something let us add the string without the b here so i'm going to define the same string so hello mm, I'm, uh, what's happening so numpy okay this is our s and uh, print np dot remember the print is here act as an statement okay this is an statement and this is here is a function okay it starts with parenthesis in python 2.7 and in python 2.x 
to the x version if you put parenthesis in 2.7 basically if you put parenthesis that is not a function at all remember that it's not a function that actually treated as a tuple here okay that's a tuple not a function remember here it is an statement and here is a function okay so np dot uh, oh, what was that from from buffer okay thanks for reminding me then s comma remember i haven't put a b here it's a simple string in python 2.x okay so d type equals um okay um s1 okay the string type one and uh, i think it will print it yeah so it printed without the b without the pristine b but yeah it printed it okay without the b and uh, if you can see much better Mm. so the difference that has be that if there we have converted it into a byte array or a byte string but in python 2.7 we don't have to do that okay so that's a very basic difference between both two versions okay so there is another function called from iter okay so it basically converts any iterable object any python's iterable object to one dimensional array okay it it basically returns and one dimensional array so let us do that so let us first create our list since we are working in python 3 remember the range function is not going to do something like convert uh, creating a list directly okay so if you do something like that and print the l oh, it will show something like that but if you want to convert this thing let me show you okay so just use the list constructor here okay and uh, let me show you now it's converted to a list directly okay and here it is not it's a range object remember the differences between python 3.x and 2.x okay so we created our iterable okay and let us do the same thing with um print okay so print x uh, sorry maybe np dot from iter from iter okay then going to put our object with this l and let us do to d type okay d type equals int one second oh yeah i think i've done something wrong oh yeah okay so here is uh, your converted array from a list from a trueable object okay and uh, if i want to check the no it's i will assign it as exercise afterwards okay for for this time just convert this uh, these integers to float okay just pause the video and go to do that just do it okay So you're back. You have successfully now converted that uh, iterable object to floating points or floating points uh, array. Okay. So now you are understanding what's going on here in in NumPy. You're learning the things. Okay. So in the next lecture, we will see some of the numerical ranges. I mean, we're going to see much more about the a range function that we have seen previously. Remember, range function. Is for Python and a range is belongs to NumPy okay so that's a difference and we will see that what a range is in the next lecture so I hope you are enjoying the lecture so as always thanks for watching bye